Hi guys, it's about five o'clock Wednesday, five o'clock in the evening. Had the covers off all day, or one of the covers off, just to give them a bit of fresh air. Nice warm day today, about nine and a half degrees in the pond. Sort of give them some fresh air. They're looking for some food, I'll give them a little bit of food this morning. Be glad to get these covers off. They've been on since October. And I suppose, where are we now? End of February, I suppose. Middle of March, end of March, might take them off. Be glad to get rid of them. But all the fish seem to come through the winter, okay? Uh, I made a right mess of this grass going up and down it every day. Been doing a couple of projects in the fish house. I'm just destroying that grass. Don't know if you remember back last spring I put some uh, ferns in there, but uh, it wasn't evergreen ferns and they've obviously died back in the winter so. Next couple of weeks I'll put some evergreen ferns in there. That's one of the winter projects I've been doing. The Thermotech 9, uh, Thermotech 9 kilowatt air source heat pump. The plan was to put it in here but uh, that conifer stump there that goes so deep I mean this conifer was about 20 30 foot high so I can only imagine how far them roots go down so I couldn't be asked to dig that out to be honest with you but also taking measurements I don't think I would have had enough airflow around the air source heat pump if I put it there anyway so at the moment it's just being used as a dumping ground but uh, once I finish these projects I shall clear all this space and I shall landscape it. Same here, I've had to dig this out a little bit. Uh, otherwise it would have been restricting the airflow, the air source heat pump. But again, I shall, uh, I shall tidy that all up and I shall put some, uh, because it's in front of that air source heat pump, I shall put some uh, like alpine plants in there because it would be cold with the fan but alpine plants should handle that okay what I've had to do because you know I didn't really want it sitting to get the height really I would have had to sit on about four or five blocks but anyway I found this off of eBay got it for a bargain price really it was uh, new old stock I have seen these brackets before but they're eye wateringly expensive but I managed to find this on eBay, new old stock, and I got it for a bargain price, so I decided to hang it off the side of the shed, which means I can get underneath the air source heat pump and I can sweep, you know, I can sweep and clear any dead leaves away. Uh, got the pipes going through the shed, fully insulated, that's one. Uh, I don't know if you can see the bottom one. There's the bottom one, look, all fully insulated. You'd have to uh, excuse the mess, gang. Uh, I've been using my drum filter as a bit of a workbench. <laughs> well, that's the uh, that's the inside of the shed, uh, and as you can see, I put these uh, put these blocks of wood. on the back of this shed to make it more rigid, make it more structurally secure to hang that air source heat pump off of it. And this is the plumbing so far. Uh, that's the inlet there. So it goes through the shed into the bottom of the air source heat pump, goes through the heat pump, comes out, comes out, this is the outlet, comes out, and there's the bypass there. 
So it's getting there, taking me a while, but I'm getting there slowly. Uh, the other project, uh, this copy of a Tempest. Only a better version, I reckon. I reckon that Tempest has got some serious devouring flaws. Most serious one is with the Tempest, you can't get inside to clean it out. I mean, that's, that's a fundamental flaw, that is. You can't get inside it to clean it. I mean, that's ridiculous. But uh, I've got this. This is... Uh, I've got to give a shout out to Terry. Right, his YouTube channel. And Northern... Is it Northern Koi Keeper or Koi Pond? I think it's Northern Koi Keeper. Uh, both fair ideas. So basically, I've copied it, really. But I think that's... Uh, I think that's going to perform better than the Tempest. It's longer, holds more water. And I reckon with the Tempest, you can... Uh, the Tempest only comes with 7 litres of media. So this being longer and holding more water, I reckon this will hold, I don't know, 8, 9, 10 litres of media. So maybe you can up the flow on it. Because the Tempest is only rated at... Uh, 7,500 litres uh, with an optimum being 5,500 but I reckon this being 2 inch in and 2 inch out plus it holds more media I reckon hopefully I can get up to about 9,000 that's what I'm going to try for anyway uh, the other bad design about the Tempest is uh, you know I've seen a couple of videos and although it works you know, I've seen evidence of it working. The inside of that tube is just green with algae, you know. Uh, and there's, no, there's not enough agitation. You know, they rely on a stopcock at the bottom. But you know when you turn over a Coke bottle and all the bubbles percolate to the top, or the bottom of the bottle, when you tip it upside down? That's what they're relying on, and I don't reckon it's got enough agitation. So, you know, right here, Northern Koi Keeper, you know, I've come up with the idea of putting an airline in there and looking at both of those videos and the agitation they've got, you know, there's going to be enough agitation in there for that media to scrape any residue off the side of that acrylic tube, I reckon. But I've built it as well. I've built it with a bypass, so uh, I've got a bypass there. So that will run out. So if I turn the uh, if I turn the upflow filter off, I can return pond water to. Uh, I've got some inductor jets in the pond, underwater inductor jets. So uh, I can do it that way. But basically, what's going to happen is the water's going to come out of there. I'll just take this insulation down off of this window so you can see. Uh, but that's the outlet. It's going to run along that edge there to the corner of the filter house, out the wall, and connect it to that shower. But I've also put some of these on. Uh, these are like uh, polyester. They're bandanas, basically. You get cheap and nasty off of eBay, but they're bandanas. And there's two on there, and both of them, when they're fully stretched out, will completely cover that acrylic tube. Uh, the idea being that in the in the spring summer with that window there with the insulation off of that window and that window uh, get a lot of sunlight in here and I didn't want it to go green on the inside uh, but I don't think it will actually I think there'll be enough agitation in there with that airline that all the media will just clean the sides of that but anyway I'll put it on there to stop, uh, stop, any, stop it going green but also being polyester it's also an extra bit of insulation. Not going to be a lot of insulation, but you know, something's better than nothing. So we're getting there. Now, one other thing when I come down here this morning, open the shed door, and a bit of an accident this, this whole shed floor was swimming in water. Well, actually, it wasn't an accident, it was. Uh, I couldn't figure it out, just literally swimming in water. Now, what it was, yesterday afternoon, when I was down here yesterday afternoon, 
I shut that valve off. I shut that valve off and disconnected the pipe off the end because I wanted to branch into that. Uh, I wanted it to branch into that union there that goes into the pond underwater returns. Anyway, I come in here this morning. I thought, what the hell's going on here? You know, water everywhere, and I couldn't suss it out. And what it was, uh, where that valve, although that valve is shut, coming out the end there was like two or three drips a second getting past that shut valve now you know I've always used I've had slide valves in the past and never liked them you know never got on with them they always leak I've never had a problem with these but uh, you know when you look inside there there's two good silicon like seals quite substantial seals so I'm quite surprised that's leaking but there you go so I've had to I've had to put a bodge on there at the moment I've just had to cap it off and now I've got to wait two or three days for this floor to dry out. I mean, that's the way to go, that two inch valve there. But, you know, it's such a small space in this shed. You know, it's, just, it's only seven, seven by six. And uh, if I put them ball valves everywhere, I wouldn't be able to, be able to move in here, <laughs> the size of them. But they're definitely the best valves you can get. But these ones here, you know, basically, that top and bottom one there they would be open all the time anyway uh, and it's only that one there I've got to adjust the bypass so fingers crossed there hold up but it's got me worried now because I was going to put a ball, one of these yellow ones on the outlet on the drain there and it's got me a little bit worried now that that one's been leaking but uh, having said that you know, I'm still experimenting whether when I go to clean this, you know, whether to switch the pump off or, or now that I've got that bypass to the underwater returns, you know, I can I can still have the pump running, feeding the pond while I'm cleaning this. But uh, I'll just ex I'll, I'll experiment with that when it's done. Well, I think that's it, guys. Uh, you know, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, well, week or two weeks time hopefully I'll post another video with it all up and running I just hope I haven't got any leaks because it's a right pain in here so tight for space but that's it guys so uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe it's always appreciated and like I say thanks to Terry right his channel and Northern Koi Keeper you know, it's amazing. If you go and watch their videos and you see how much rubbish that is taking out of the system. And Terry's, uh, Terry's, he's got, he's got a sieve and a, and a drum filter. And he's still taking loads of rubbish out. It's unbelievable. You know, I've got to say, when that Tempest first came out and I first read all the gump on it, you know, I weren't convinced. I thought, nah, I can't see that. But anyway, I did see a couple of videos on the Tempest and although I think it's got, like I say, it's got some design flaws. It does work, and, it, and, I, and I've seen the videos where it, all the rubbish it's taken out. And Wrighty's channel or Northern Koi Keeper, you know, same with their channels. Unbelievable what that takes out. And to think that all that rubbish coming out of my drum is just going and going over the top of my shower. So half of that shower media must be blocked up solid. So it can only be a good thing. But we give it a go anyway. So thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe, uh, stay safe and I'll see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.